If you follow the last few videos, you'll know in more detail as to what I mean by fix. But in short, the bigger problem that I kind of had with this microphone is that the top grill wasn't aligned with the rest of the body. Because after I opened it up and I started doing a few tests of it, I wasn't really impressed and I actually just requested a refund from the eBayer. Probably a little bit hasty and I probably should have done a bit more testing with it. But at that point, I was like so confirmed that I wasn't wanting to keep this microphone. Either way, after a couple more days of playing with it and testing it, I realized that maybe I probably was using it wrong and maybe it wasn't a faulty unit. But nonetheless, the request was already put through. By the time I actually followed up with him to ask him if he can actually cancel the return, he actually already organized the DHL collection. So at that part, I figured, you know what? I didn't actually need this microphone. The collection's already arranged, so I may as well just box it up and send it back. And this microphone should be collected at any point, which I don't know exactly when. But in the meantime, because it's still quite early morning, hence why I'm probably a little bit groggy at the moment, I'm just gonna open it back up and see if I can actually correct the grill and maybe take a quick peek inside. I did actually order some Allen keys from Amazon, which actually arrived yesterday. So I'm going to quickly open this box up, take a peek inside the microphone and see if that, if I could have corrected the grill. So let's get to it. Just to show the issue once again, here's the microphone. As you can see that the grills go straight down here, but the top grill is slightly off axis. So definitely this has been opened up at some point. So just to show it to the overhead camera now as well. So you can see on these grills down here, this should be aligned. So this needs to be twisted a bit more over. There's a little screw hole here. I wasn't sure which screw it needed to be. It seems to be only one. And then when I Googled it, I found on the RE20 that it needs a 0.9 millimeter Allen key. So I didn't actually have one that small at the time. So I ordered them off eBay and that's before they arrived yesterday. So these are the Allen keys that I purchased from Amazon, £3.99. The different sizes that I have here from smallest to largest, and I believe I've got them in the right order. Maybe not. I guess this will be 0.7. This will be the 0.9. And this will be the rest of them. You don't need to know that because the only one that I really needed was this one here. It is really tiny. So now I'm gonna see if I can unscrew the top grill. It's not gripping onto anything in there. So let me try the smaller one. Unfortunately, none of it's working. I can't see if that head has been shaved or not, but there's no grip coming through that. And I got the 0 0.9 millimeter hex key. It does look like it should fit. But nothing's happening. It doesn't actually look like the screws in there. Looking at the size of the microphone, it looks like there's the grooves for where the so I'm wondering if I can just twist it. Couldn't twist it. So unfortunately that's a disappointing video because I wasn't able to unscrew it, but I guess that kind of confirms my decision. And that just to send it back because that would have really annoyed me for OCD reasons. The sound quality wasn't the greatest for me. If I was to ever explore this microphone again, I'm think I, I guess I'm just gonna have to go brand new. I'm gonna see if I can get my macro lens out. Okay, I couldn't see into there and the Allen key wasn't gripping onto anything. It just kept spiraling through. So I've got my phone here just to give it a lot of light into that tiny little hole. And I just need something to prop up my phone with. So here I've got my A7 IV shooting at 4K50. That way I get APS-C crop and slow-mo because I'm gonna put this in post because it's really hard to focus. So I've got my camera set to the minimum focusing distance and I'm just gonna slowly ease my camera in on video mode and I'm gonna slow this down in post so I can get a better view of the screw head. I feel like I can see enough. 
but I was actually very disappointed that I wasn't able to correct that because I was actually very keen on the idea about potentially keeping this microphone, but then just correcting the grill. But it does look like someone's actually definitely messed around with this. And actually whoever last screwed this in, screwed it in way too tight and then just shaved the head off the screw. So I don't know how you would ever get that out now, but this is now very stuck in place. I tried to just manually do it because I can see the grooves of the screw on the side here. So I figured maybe the, the screw might have been lost completely, but looking through my macro lens at that distance, it lo actually looks like the screw is just way too tight in there and shaved. So I guess no one would ever be able to get this open again. So I guess if you're willing to accept the fact that the grill on the top is not aligned with the rest of the body, it actually sounds pretty good from my test once you add a bit of processing once you turn on the high cut filter here i would have been inclined to keep this for the price that i paid and if i could have corrected the grill but unfortunately that's not the case so the collection should be coming anytime now it should have happened yesterday to be fair so any day now this is being sent back I should get my refund hopefully it will go smoothly you never know of ebay unfortunately and if i ever come across another re27 deal i might actually have to consider purchasing it because i did actually enjoy using this after i learned how to process it a little bit but for the meantime, I still have my Shure SM7B. I still have the Electro Voice RE20, which both mics I'm very happy with. And to a degree, this is probably a blessing in disguise because I didn't actually need this microphone. If you're still watching at this point, I guess you just watched me fail at what I set out to do. But I hope that at least it kind of gives you a bit of insight into what could happen when you're buying a used microphone. And it might actually kind of sway your decisions. So and maybe if you are considering this, just go buy brand new. But until then, I'll leave it there. Cheers for watching.